Can we look at the sun? Can we look at the sun and why do we have to follow a specific way of worshipping God? Can we look at the sun? Have you ever tried to look directly at the sun? Have you ever tried to go up and reach the sky? Have you ever tried to travel from America to Africa on foot? Exactly. It is irrational. So, my reader, why don't you think at the same level regarding our Creator? To begin with, using rationality and examples is of utmost importance to prove the big important issues like those connected to the existence of the Creator and the way to know about Him. If we trace the Holy Quran, we find that it uses such approach. For example, after giving rational examples to those who deny the Day of Judgment, the Almighty God says, Indeed in that are signs for a people who give thought. He, may he be glorified, is the one who spread out the earth and created on it firm mountains so that it does not cause the people to become unsettled. From all types of fruit he made two kinds, like the male and female and animals. He draws the veil of night over the day so that it becomes dark after being bright. In that which is mentioned, there are signs and proof for a people who reflect and ponder over Allah's creation, for they are the ones who benefit from such signs and proof. ARR 3. He also says, on the same occasion, indeed in that are signs for a people who reason. On earth there are neighboring plots, gardens of vineyards, crops, palm trees sharing one root and others with individual roots. All of these gardens and crops are watered with the same water. I make some of them better than others in taste and other benefits despite their being next to one another and being watered with the same water, there are signs and proof for those who reason. For they are the ones who pay heed to it. ARR 4. In general, the Holy Quran calls for rationality in many verses even regarding the Quran itself, then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any, other than Allah, the only one true God, they would have found within it much contradictions. Why do these people not reflect over the Quran and study it until they realize that it contains no differences or inconsistency, so that they can accept the truth of what you brought? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found inconsistencies in its rulings and differences in its meanings. Anisa, 82. To conclude, it is not accepted to say that the concept of religion means to follow everything blindly. Those who use such approach in any religion are deceiving people and trying to gain any interest. Man is weak. The second point worthy of speaking about is, as the Holy Quran states and mankind was created weak. Allah wants to make things easy for you in his sacred law. He does not burden you with more than you are able to do, because he knows the weakness of human beings in their creation and nature. Anissa, 28. In fact, no one can deny such truth. As a result, human beings try to compensate for their weakness. They use the minds granted to them by their God to facilitate their life. However, irrationally, some of them deviate by claiming that there is no God. They build their claim on rejecting anything they cannot see. Although they know their limited abilities, as mentioned before, they insist on that. If they give their minds a chance to reflect, they can conclude that they cannot see a lot of things around them. But at the same time, they believe in their existence, like microbes. Before inventing the microscopes, we could not see them, but we did believe in their existence. Moreover, if those say, but we can see the impact of such things on our life, we can firmly reply, then is not the whole universe an adequate evidence? To sum up, as the Creator says, and do not walk upon the earth exultantly. Indeed, you will never tear the earth apart, and you will never reach the mountains in height. Do not walk on earth with pride and arrogance. If you walk haughtily on earth you will not be able to split the earth, nor will your stature reach the mountains in height and elevation. Why then are you so proud? Al-Isra, 37. How to know about Creator. The last and most important point here is how to know about our Creator. To illustrate, God's existence provides a foundation for a coherent worldview, facilitates knowledge and answers key fundamental questions. Also, God is not observed. How can you use the observed world to deny that which cannot be observed? It's impossible. This is why science can never directly reject God's existence. So God sent to us books and prophets to illustrate the way for us, the last of them are the Quran and Prophet Muhammad. Really, this shows how merciful our Creator is. Conclusion 
To conclude, we can say that the existence of God is an axiomatic belief like that of the sun. God says in the Quran, Allah wants to make clear to you the lawful from the unlawful and guide you to the good practices of those before you and to accept your repentance. And Allah is knowing and wise. Through these rulings, Allah, may he be glorified, wishes to make clear to you his sacred law and way of life and what is in your interests in this world and in the afterlife. He wishes to guide you to the ways of the prophets before you in allowing things and prohibiting them and to their noble qualities and praiseworthy behavior so you can follow them. He wishes to return you from disobedience to following him. Allah knows what is in the interests of his servants and makes his laws accordingly, and he is wise in his sacred laws and in managing their lives. Anissa, 26. Why do we have to follow a specific way of worshipping God? Why bid'a, innovation, is not allowed in Islam? Why do we have to follow a specific way of worshipping God? What a question! God has the right to teach us how to worship him. That's why he is the guide al-Hadi and he knows best. Actually, it is mercy to show us the way and not leave us lost. There must be guidance. What's the point of having a God if he is not going to guide us? And how is he our God if our own limited minds and whims and desires are better than his unlimited knowledge in teaching us? Bid'a, innovation, in worship is unlawful because some people can come up and say let's dance to increase in spirituality and connect with Allah or we don't need to fast anymore. We don't need to pray, etc. This is unlawful because you make up your own religion. You don't follow God, you follow yourself. Preserving Islam from Corruption So the prohibition of bid'a is to preserve the religion from being lost or manipulated or corrupted or fabricated. Also, no one will come up with worship better than what Allah himself instructed. If I want to call you to connect with you, you will give me your number. It's wrong if I say, I don't need you to give me your correct number. I'll come up with my own creative number to connect with you. Well, you know best what your number is, and I can't just call any number and claim it's yours and is connecting with you. You know the best way to connect with you. So you give me that to make my life easier. Similarly, Allah knows the best way to connect with him. So if we want him, we just follow his guidance. Simple and straightforward. Are we restricted or our creativity stifled? This doesn't mean we are being restricted or our creativity stifled. No one says Islam doesn't want us to be innovative and to push boundaries. Beyond our personal opinions and philosophies, see these facts. Quoting National Geographic, the growth of Islam in the 7th century sparked a golden age of scientific discovery. Muslim doctors pushed the boundaries of medical science into bold new places. How early Islamic science advanced medicine, National Geographic. Check also. The Guardian, the greatest scientific advances from the Muslim world. The greatest scientific advances from the Muslim world, The Guardian. Independent, how Islamic inventors changed the world. How Islamic inventors changed the world independent. CNN, Muslim inventions that shaped the modern world. Muslim inventions that shaped the modern world, CNN. Muslims have also excelled greatly in other areas, including the ingenuity of Islamic architecture, Islamic architecture. So be creative. Just don't make up worship that Allah and his messenger didn't teach. A little bit of humility will take the soul a long way.